going on, everybody out there on the internet? My name's Green Angel. And today we're going to be doing the two Encourage raids in World of Warcraft. So to get to these, you have to go all the way to the south realm of Kalimdor, over here to Silithus. Then you'll see a whole bunch of ruins, ruins of the bug, the bug men. And deep within the heart of Encourage is... An old god, Cthulhu. No. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually surprised they haven't brought back Cthulhu yet. To be honest, wouldn't be surprised for like a Shadowlands. Like, like re-release. Oh crap! Hi. Re-release like all the old gods or something. It is cool that we are getting a new bad guy though for Shadowlands. We're getting the Jailer. Um, so yeah, the first one we're going to do, we're going to do Ruins of Encourage first. Um, this was actually a, uh, I think it was 20-man raid, which was the first of its kind, I think. Because I don't, I think, I think Zul'Garub, Zul'Garub got moved to a dungeon. Really stupid decision, not, if you ask me. But yeah, Zul'Garub was a raid before Encourage, but it got moved to... Um, to a dungeon in Cataclysm, which was really dumb. Um, and I think this was the first 20-man raid in World of Warcraft, because I think I think Anixia's lair was 40-man, and I think Zul'Gareb was 40-man too. But I don't quite remember. Um, so this is actually the easier of the two. Um, the final boss in here, surprisingly enough, a little fun fact, has... I think one of the most deaths, like, like, what's his name? Uh, Asarin the Unscarred has some of the most deaths in a raid boss. Like, player-based deaths from a raid boss. And I think it is because there was a glitch at one point. I think it got changed, but there was like a, it was like glitched. A little, little glitched. Where it would... I don't know. I can't remember the exact reason, but I, I I believe he is in like the top ten most deadly raid bosses. But yeah, that was the first boss back there, Kiranax. Um, really, all that on Karaj is is a bunch of bug men that worship on uh, the old god here. Um, and the second boss is Juno Rajax, which you might be thinking, where are you going to kill all these guys? Oh, don't worry. The special thing about this boss here is that if you actually attack him first, which was impossible without aggroing everything, but if you actually aggro him now, you will aggro everything else. In there, well, at least half of them. But, um, yeah, when you attack any of these, these mobs here, then it starts like a little wave that ends with the boss, General Rejax, which again, he's just a general of what? I... Not exactly sure. General of the Bugman, I guess. General General Bugman. Another cool thing about these is there's a lot of Egyptian references, a lot of Egyptian uh, copycatting, which I've always I've always liked. I was wondering why I kept getting the same mount. I was wanting to yeah random. I like I like seeing all my mounts. I like I like the randomized mount button because I get to. I get to see all the mounts I've gotten over the years. Anyways, yeah, a lot of I really like the architecture, ruinous, ant hill looking, but beetle. I actually don't like it. I don't like bugs. I hate bugs. Grosses me out. Get a little sickly thinking about the bugs. Giant bugs. Gross. And you can see these like the arms moving. The hives are like living, and they have like giant tentacles that twitch. Just gross. All right, next boss, Moam. Um, I don't. I never really did this much this this raid too many too many times, so I don't really remember the their what was what they really did. Moam did something. I don't know exactly what it was, but he's dead anyways. Goodbye. Goodbye, my good sir. Good day, Chief. 
All right, we're going to go do the next boss. Um, technically, he's actually not... He's the last boss, but we're going to be doing him now just because we're making a... We're doing our lap. We're doing a lap all the way around. Um, now, Siren, I do remember. He really wasn't bad at all. All you had to do with him was attack him, and there'll be like a crystal. He has probably one of the largest areas for a raid boss. This entire pillared out area is just for Osirin. And the reason is there will be a, there's like a, a crystal that will spawn randomly here that you have to find an Osirian crystal. Um, I don't think if you can, yeah, you press it here and then, cause you have to weaken them cause they'll have like a seed damage increase by 300%. And you have to like you press that and then I believe it moves somewhere else, right? Move somewhere. Have to find it again or something. Or no, you click it before the fight and then you aggro him. I don't remember. It has been too damn long. All this stuff is actually relevant content now if you think about it in the classic. Like the classic game version, but I haven't played that at all, so. Well, I mean I have, but not not to this extent, so it's been a while since I've actually experienced any of this. But we are we are high enough level, so we don't actually have to play. You don't have to. We don't have to do the ethereal crystals. We don't have to do that part. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. You can actually get his head too. I don't think I'm gonna turn in his head. His head doesn't. It doesn't get hung up, even though the Nefarian head didn't get hung up for us either, because we're just that unlucky, I guess. Either way, we're still not done here. Yeah, you kill him and then there's like a sandstorm. It's not very noticeable, but there is more sandstorm stuff going on. All right, next boss, Aemis the Hunter. Just a giant queen wasp. Gross. And uh, she actually doesn't, she's always, I think you need to be ranged to actually do damage to her. Because she'll fly up, yeah, see? She flies up, and you have to have ranged attack her. So I'm going to have to try to kill her with... Uh, yeah, she comes down. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good day. Goodbye. And these, uh, these, these silicate feeders here, if you are coming in here for a certain reason, I recommend actually killing these silicate feeders because they actually drop a lot of loot and have a chance to drop like BOEs and gear. I'm not going to do it because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to just show the bosses and the zone. The raid zones. That's what I'm here for. Gross. Look at these hives. Disgusting. Vile. Illegal. Yeah, see the, the arms of the hive, the living hives. Down there is our last boss, Buru the Gorger. And they call him the Gorger. Because he actually will grow in size and he hatches these eggs here. You see these eggs, the Buru eggs? These are part of the boss fight. See how you attack that? And now he's mad and he comes over very slowly. And you attack him and he will do damage to you. Yeah, see, I think he gets big now, right? I think he grows. He should grow in size. Right. Is he not going to do it? No, he's not going to do it. We get new, new hands. Me likey. Okay. Well, there we go. As I said, ruins isn't a very long raid. It's very quick. Come in here. In and out. Like that. But um, well, what you really come here for is... On Courage, the actual on, not the ruins. On Courage, the big one with the old god at the end. The old gods, of course, the four old gods of the Void Lords: Yogg-Saron, Cthulhu, Nazoth, and uh, Yasharaj. I actually like Yasharaj too. I think the whole when he died, making the well. It all, pretty much, a lot of the backstory for Warcraft 
had to do with the death of Yashiraj getting pulled out of the earth. Getting pulled out of the earth, and then he made the Well of Eternity, and as, of course, we all know how that goes. Well of Eternity leads to, like, Illidan and the Burning Legion and stuff, and then... Yeah. Good old Yashiraj. The most powerful of the old gods. So powerful that the Norganon himself had to reach down and pull him out. And then they were like, uh-oh, we can't pull him out. That causes a lot of destruction to the planet, and we want this planet for the for the Titan. We want the Titan soul inside. Cause that's our brother. We got a hatchet. And they're like, oh, no, dog, can't do that. Might kill it. Well, what are we going to do? Oh, well, we can entrap the old gods. Okay. And that's how you get, you know, like things like Ulduar and Encourage, all these cities, all these lost cities. That's how you get, that's how you get these. These are made to house the old gods, keep them trapped so they can't be, be baddies. Can't be baddies. Of course, everybody wants to release them, so. Anyways. Here we go, big boy time. This one's cool. There's nothing really bad about this raid too much. Uh, can't really think of any part where I'm like, ooh, God, ooh. It's not too bad. All right. And again, I'm kind of skipping a lot of these ads because we're not here. Not really here for that. We're here to just show off the zone, the instances and the the bosses. First boss, the Prophet Skirim. Which, uh, none of these are gonna have... None of these have info about them either, huh? What oh, shame. What a shame. Cool thing about the Prophet Skirim is that he is going to morph into a bunch of versions of himself, and then you have to kind of figure out, oh no! Which version is which? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, there he is! Uh oh, he switched again. Uh oh, which one is the real one? I don't even know. Is he dead yet? Come on, die. There he goes. Down he blows. Good riddance. Off with your head. The music. Music, it doesn't help that the music itself is creepy. It's like a creepy, like, Egyptian, like, Middle Eastern thing. I don't know, like, violin. It's not even a violin. I don't know what kind of instrument that is. Come over here, and there's actually some broods, like, Greetings. talk to them. Step Hi. carefully, mortal. An unspeakable horrible, or horror dwells here, mortal. Cthulhu and his worshippers are not just an affront to nature. Their existence presage, uh, presages destruction for Azeroth as we know it. Maritha sacrificed herself a thousand years ago along with Kel Straza and Argos because they knew this as well. We're here because our oath to return for them, but we're also here because the Cthulhu must be stopped. Greetings. A thousand years ago, when the War of the Shifting Sands ended, three of our kin sacrificed themselves and held the Karaji inside these halls, while Anachronos and Staghelm sealed on Karaj shut. Each of us vowed to look for Maritha, Aragos, and Kelthrazos should the Scarab Wall ever fall and fall did. Or the Alliance. Yeah, and there's like a big event of the opening of Encourage, which I think is passed down the classic servers. Look, sadly, I was not able to record the opening, but, you know, other people have, so it doesn't really... doesn't matter, because you can always go to somebody else, I guess. I'm just too busy. Can't keep up. And down into the depths of this gross, disgusting hive we go to look for Cthulhu down below. Destroy him we will. Destroy him we shall. He will not rise to the occasion. Alright, next boss, you just drop down here. Come in here. Avoid these guys. Or they can attack me. That works too. Good riddance. Just leave me alone, please. That's a little too many bugs for my taste. Um, this is actually a boss you can actually still die on if you try to kill them all at the same time. So don't try to AoE these down. You want to kill one at a time. And it 
the boss fight's actually kind of cool because depending on which one you leave for last, it kind of changes everything. So we'll kill the red one first. Uh oh, he's been res. Okay, then we'll kill. Let's kill blue. Princess bugs, man. Very long fear. I might actually die to these guys. I should have probably healed up. Oh, I bet. I think. All right, kill the blue. We save yellow lord for last. Good day, sir. Yeah, they'll. They will reset. If you try to kill them all too fast, you have to kill one at a time. I have done that too many times. I come down here really quick. I'm like, oh yeah, forgot. Gotta. What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Really? Okay, call me. Seriously, man. Seriously, man. You gonna see a homie like that? Oh, you can actually mount down here. By the way, forgot to mention that. You can mount down here. Onto the next boss. It's kind of, in a gross way, it's kind of like a serene place. In a gross, in a gross way. Just gonna run all the way to the end. These guys. Alright. Prepare to die. Prepare to die! Good day. Good day, sir. All right, next boss. Battle guard Sartura. Exactly what it says. A guard. A flying guard. You will be judged for defying these sacred grounds. The laws of the ancients will not be challenged. And she will actually throw you up in the air. I probably should have healed up before I did this. Because she throws you up in the air. Or is it her or is there somebody else? I'm pretty sure it's her. Okay, it is somebody else. Unless it is her and she just didn't do it. I thought she threw you up in the air. I might be thinking of somebody else. That might be Princess Huruin. I don't remember. Okay, so this passage here, um, this is probably about the most annoying thing in the in the place, is this hallway. Um, you see all these drones? All these drones infinitely respawn. That's all I do. So really all you can do is just run to the very end. That's all you should be doing. They infinitely respawn, no matter how many times you kill them. They don't give you crap. They don't give you XP. They don't give you loot. They don't give you anything. Waste of space. Gross freaking bugs that need to get out of my face. Capiche? Capiche. So just run to the end, and then you're going to have to actually wait for them all to catch up to you. Because they will follow you all the way, as you can see. It's a very gross trail. Very gross trail. All the way to Frankus the Unwielding. Oh, and he aggroed to me. That was a very far aggro. Okay. Fine. Have it your way, Frankus. I was going to let you live for a little longer to say goodbye to your family. But uh, what the heck? Oh, I've been webbed. I've been entangled. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I've been entangled. Ooh, look at those numbers. Ooh, look at those numbers. Don't you love seeing, I love seeing all those numbers. Yummy. So there is an extra boss here. However, you probably won't kill him a lot. And the reason for that is you cannot kill him unless you freeze him. You have to cast some sort of freezing ability on him. Luckily, I am a... Um, I am a... Uh, oh, shit. Whoops. I am a shaman, so I do have frost abilities. But if you don't have frost abilities, you can't kill him. Uh, you can get item enchantments and like enchant your weapon with some sort of frost. You just need some sort of frost ability is all you need. See, I have like frost brand. Um, I don't know if that actually works on him. It might. I don't know. We'll see. There. Seems to be doing damage, so... Yeah, see, okay, so there, when you see him freeze like that, that's when you can kill him. Oh my god, he's taking, like, no damage. 
Ah! Crap. Couldn't kill him fast enough. Oh, boy. No! Kill the globs! Alright, we just gotta freeze him again. And this is the point where we just auto-attack until we freeze him. So yeah, you just have to have some sort of frost ability and you can kill him. If you don't have that, go into the auction house, find some sort of frost. Um, I believe elemental force is a, is one that works. Why can't I kill him? What? Yeah, wait, you're supposed to be able to, yeah, you're supposed to be able to freeze him. Oh man, do I have to kill all the globs? I think I might have to kill all the globs that spawn when he hand freezes. Oh yeah, there he goes. You there. Perfect. Ha ha. Ha ha. Huzzah. See? There you go. We can actually kill him. Huzzah! Not too bad. Get them all black war mammoth. Hippity hop, hippity hop. Alright. Really good stuff. You might be wondering what all these coffers are, too. Um, bosses and stuff will have a chance to drop these scarab coffer keys. And you can use the uh, the keys to open the coffers. And all they drop are um, these beetles. Scarab bone beetles and stuff. And um, they'll drop relics. On Courage Relic type stuff, like idols. And you use those for basically like level 60 gear. They're not they're not worth anything. They're like 30 friggin' silver each, maybe. Um, you don't really use them for anything else other than the gear. There's nothing really... That's all they're used for, <laughs> is purchasing the, uh, the raid tier gear. Which, uh, you do not really clearly need. If you're looking for those appearances, then yeah, sure. But we don't need those appearances. Anyways, welcome. Next boss, Princess Hurin. Another Princess Wasp. It's her turn to die. Good day. Good day, princess. Alright, on to the next boss. Next boss is everybody's... I think if you played this back in the day and maybe any any point up from, like, vanilla when it was released to, like, the beginning of Mop because it was easier to solo all of this. Like, if you came back here and tried to do these twin emperors, everybody knows the, tr the freaking twin emperors, man. Everybody knows the twin emperors. These guys are annoying because if you don't separate them, basically, ranged, one can only get attacked, hurt by, like, physical melee. One can only get attacked and hurt by, or like, ranged magic. I don't quite remember which one's which, but, oh, yeah, by the way, the eye, you might see the giant eye floating in the room. That is Cthulhu. The Eye of Cthulhu. They will be pain. Yeah, they're first off, they're creepy. Second off, they're giant night elves. Third off... Oh. Wait, is the fight already going to start? Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think it's him. Only... Yeah, only he can get hurt by ranged... Only he can get hurt by melee, and you have to keep them separate, otherwise they would heal themselves up, or they either invulnerable or heal themselves. I think it was he they'd heal themselves up, and then every now and again they would do a swap. They will teleport into each other's place, and then you can't kill them anymore. So, or no, they... No, oh, sorry. They'd swap, and then you'd have to. Everybody'd have to switch their target, otherwise, and they'd keep doing that. And then, like, there's all these bugs that would. Ugh. 
gosh. What an annoying fight. Anyways, I'm going to put that on him. And then I'm going to run over to this boy here. Oh, crap. He's the immune one. Crap! I messed it up already. I messed it up already. Oh, man. Well, this is obnoxious. I can't even move. This guy. I don't even know who I can hit anymore. I'm just going to try to kill him before they can heal themselves up to the full. As you can see, they are healing themselves. And then they summon a bunch of adds that you don't kill. Anything, any adds you didn't kill in the other room will come back to haunt you. Well, maybe not all of them, but some of them. Very obnoxious. I hate it. Hate it with a passion. Get me out of here. I don't want anything to do with those twins anymore. I hate those twins. Yeah, and then they'll like... So then they'll... You'll have to worry about the swap, and then they'll add plague to everybody, or to certain people, and if you stay near people, you do damage, so then you have to pay attention to that, and then make sure... And it's not hard if you have a... How am I going to say this nicely? It's not very hard if you have a brain. However, when you have 40 people in a group, and, you know... A lot of them aren't very smart when it comes to playing games. It can be a little bit of a headache. That's I wouldn't say it was hard in like the sense like, oh man, that takes a lot of skill. It was just more of hard in trying to coordinate. Alright, only two more bosses. We're gonna go do Uru. Please ignore me, please ignore me, please ignore me. Thank you. I don't wanna fight these guys. They do that damn fear, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Can I avoid him? Yes, I did. Sweet! Avoid all these guys. No! Oh my god, I just pulled all of them. Of course I did. Bring me Uru. Uru. Aura. Ura. Uru. He's a gigantic worm. The biggest worm you've ever seen. He might be the biggest worm in World of Warcraft. See that? You're like, oh, it's just a little tiny. Oh, it's just like a little, little, tiny little digging around there. Oh, that can't be that bad. And then you're like, oh my god! It's a gigantic worm! Oh my goodness! But, luckily for us, not too bad. Got this gigantic room for this big worm, a little nest. All right, you know what time it is, everybody? You know what time it is? You know what time it is? It is time to beat our main man, Cthune. Say goodbye to our man, Cthune. Our man, and Cthune. Just gonna... You know what, actually, i I will beat you guys up really quick. Give me a minute. Thank you and good night. Good evening. Yes, yes. It's time to make our way up the hive to meet the big boy. I don't know if I'll be able to kill him. He is 
I don't know, man. Sometimes this fight's weird. It's not like... Like, I'll come in here, I'm like 120s, and the damage isn't scaled down. You actually have to, like, kill him, and your damage isn't, like, scaled. I don't know, it's kind of weird. This fight's always been weird when it comes to coming back and trying to beat it with higher levels. It's always been weirdly balanced for some reason. There you go. There he is. Cthun. The Eye of Cthun. Spooky ass eye. Let's do this thing. Ah! So yeah, melee, if they stood in this little black thing, you'd take constant damage. Um, he will... He's multi multiple phase till he'll summon these claws to attack you that you have to worry about. And then you die, and then he gets to the second phase. His actual, actual Cthulhu comes out with his million trillion eyeballs and his weird, tiny, upside-down mouths. Weird. Yeah, and he'll actually... Oh, no, I can't. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I might not be able to do this fight, guys. Because I think this resets it. Oh, no. I might not be able to do this fight, because this might reset it. Yeah, um, is it going to reset it? Hey, it didn't actually reset it, wow. But yeah, so he swallows you into him, and you have to beat the... I can't... Why can't I... Okay. I can't use some of my abilities. I don't know why. Like I said, this fight has always been weird. Like, weirdly bugged. And everything. It, it used to reset you if he swallowed you. If you were swallowing it, it looks like they... Fix that a little bit, luckily. I'm just gonna leave that quest there. And there we go. We have killed an old god. Old god be dead. And you can actually loot his... His eye. If I can... There we go. Loot the eye. His legacy. Bring it to the Temple of Ankaraj. Which is, he's at the very front. And, um... We're not gonna go all the way back there, because... There's actually no... The only way to exit here is to either go all the way through the raid again, or hearth. And that sucks. I don't want to freaking do that. Might look like, wait, no, it's just over there. Nope. Watch what happens if you come out on the outside of here. Watch, watch, watch what happens. Look what happens. Wait. Oh, he is just right here. Okay, I'm dumb. I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of something entirely different. I am dumb. Forgive me. I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. I'm dumb. But there is no exit here. It looks like there would be an exit, too. There's not. Unless I'm missing something. And you might, You might recognize these three dragons here. These are the three dragons that locked on Karaj before. Hello, champion. May your dreams be peaceful. We are the good guys. Yeah, we saved the world. Woohoo! Well, there we go, guys. That is Temple. Well, that that's the on Karaj. We just did all the on Karajes. It's all of them, man. We did it. We did it! We freaking did it, guys. We did it. We did another World of Warcraft. We did... We leveled up all the way to 60. We did all the dungeons. Just did all the raids for vanilla. We're talking about vanilla. Um, we're, we're doing the professions. As you can see here, I'm pre-recording all my profession stuff. My I have dual crafting mining done currently as I'm, as I'm talking. Um, isn't going to be uploaded yet. Um, getting fishing and cooking out of the way. Archaeology be next. Do a little bit of archaeology. Just to sh kind of show it off. A little bit of pets. Pet battle and stuff. And then... Maybe go like each zone. I don't know if I'll actually do that. Um, and yeah, at this point we're just going to wait for Shadowlands, really. It'll be slow from here on out. This is really all... This is more of the... More stuff I cared about was 
doing make sure I get all like the raids and dungeons out of the way and hitting level 60 but we did that so everything out from here on out is you know boom we did it I will see you guys on the profession video or well I'll see you on the rest of the videos which I would consider everything else from here on out like bonus bonus videos for the series because that's kind of what they are they're not I wouldn't say they're like because they're not mandatory and it's not stuff a lot of people really do at this point, leveling up old professions. Pet battling's people would do, though. I, I love pet battling in this game. I don't care what anybody says. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end here. And when we come back, yeah, it'll be, uh, I think we'll start with jewel crafting and mining. Yo. Till then, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, leave a like. And make sure to share it around the internet and worldwide. You can check out my Patreon links in the description and on the screen now. Don't forget to come by our Discord and say hello to everybody. And last but not least, make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Peace out.